गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट स्टेटस ऑफ प्रोटिस्टा एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द स्टेटस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर एनिमल इट मींस व्हेन द एनिमल इज प्लेस्ड इन इट्स टैक्सोनॉमी और यू कैन से व्हाट इज इट्स सिस्टेमेटिक position so the term protista is derived from the greek word protistos which means the very first organisms belong to protista are very simple and unicellular they are known as protists so protists are eukaryotic organisms who are neither plants nor animals protists are assumed as a connecting link between plants animals and fungi as these three kingdoms diverged from a common protist like ancestor that is billions of years ago so billions of years ago these plants animals fungi they all have derived from a protist like ancestor therefore protists are considered as first eukaryotic organisms here we can see this is the example of a protist that is euglena now place of protista so carl linnaeus in 1758 classified living organisms into two kingdoms plantae and animalia that's why it is called two kingdom classification in the system microorganisms such as bacteria and yeast were classified as plants they were placed in plantae and some microorganisms such as protozoa were classified as animals and they were placed in animalia so let me write it here bacteria yeast were placed in plantae and protozoa were placed in animalia then hecker in 1860s he proposed a three kingdom classification Hecker's three kingdoms were plantae, animalia, and protista. Kingdom protista included the unicellular microorganisms such as yeast, bacteria, protozoa, etc. Therefore, for the first time, he placed unicellular and multicellular organisms. separately so in protista he placed bacteria yeast and protozoa right so these all are uni cellular later copeland in 1956 he proposed four kingdom classification according to copeland four kingdoms are monera protista plantae and animalia kingdom monera includes unicellular prokaryotes such as 
bacteria whereas unicellular eukaryotes such as yeast protozoa etc were remained in protista so in monera it was unicellular prokaryotes such as bacteria in protista unicellular eukaryotes such as yeast protozoa hence for the first time he placed prokaryotes and eukaryotes separately since then protista includes only unicellular eukaryotes 